toes till I get up. Hi guys, this video is gonna be a tiny bit colorful as you can see. In this video I did a bit of a different take on a everyday look. The skin is natural and glowy, not that much product either on my face, eyes or lips. Um, but I used a bit more colorful eyeshadows than I usually use. So I hope you want to see how I got this look and let's get started. I'm gonna start out with kind of the same routine as my previous videos. I am still trying to use up my MAC Studio Fix Fluid. <laughs> That's why it's upside down so I can get all the product out and I mix it with a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone just to make it a bit lighter of a coverage. I totally forgot to apply a primer. Oh well. For my concealer, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15. And I'm just gonna apply this underneath my eyes and all over my face where I need it. I am gonna cream contour a tiny bit today and I want to use my NYX Wonder Stick. This is a medium, I think. Light medium. Um, and I'm only gonna use the contour side. I really like this product. I just never... Oh! <laughs> I never use the highlight side. I'm just applying a tiny bit underneath my cheekbones. And... On the sides of my nose and the sides of my forehead and then really blend it out because I'm so fair right now I'm also just gonna use this as a base I'm gonna apply a tiny bit of bronzer and because my cheekbones are quite high anyway um, even if I don't use a contour powder but just like bronze up my skin it still makes a shadow so this will just help it a tiny bit. For powder, I'm gonna use Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder as always, and I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender to just push it into the skin. For my cheeks, I'm again using my Hoola Bronzer, and just a teeny tiny bit, because I am so fair that this is quite dark. So I only use the tiniest amount, kind of just to sit the contour. And for my cheeks, I'm again using this palette, but today I want to use Rocket Tour, which is like a rosy peachy color with a lot of shine to it. And I think it's so pretty. I try to keep my skin as dewy as possible. Because I am so fair, I want to try a highlighter I haven't really used before. This is my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfect Depressed in Pearl, which is white. It's really pretty. I have mixed it a couple of times with like opal or champagne pop. Like the darker highlight all over my face almost and then just pearl on the tops of my cheekbones because it's so bright. But I want to try and use it by itself. As I said, I want to do a pretty natural makeup look, but I want to use a bit of color today. So I am doing my brows pretty heavy and I'm using my Benefit cream gel. And I need a tiny bit of Inglot Dualine. The Inglot Dualine makes it more pigmented and more creamy and makes it waterproof. For my eyes today, I want to play around with my Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. It is filled with a bunch of really bright colors. I feel like there's like glitter in all of them. There are some of them that are literally glittery and then all the other ones are kind of shimmery. Um, but I will start out with C's and apply it in my crease. I have no idea if these are 
extremely pigmented or powdery or something like that. I've heard really mixed reviews about this palette and some people love it and some people hate it. I kind of like this eyeshadow. They blend really really well. Like I've had so much trouble with my eyeshadow lately and this actually looks quite good. I think I want to try and pack some color on my eyelid and I think I want to mix these two like an orangey and then more golden color in Jones and gold mine. These need a tiny bit of like mixing what's it called? mixing fixing spray what do you want I'm gonna try Jones by itself just a second what if I use my finger Oh, that's pretty it's quite sheer I can see how people are kind of <laughs> disappointed in the pigmentation because this is this isn't really showing up that much oh yeah maybe you have to really go into the eyeshadow a bunch of times and peg it on but it is really pretty I think I want to go with the burgundy one it's called warning um, and I'm just going to use like a tiny crease brush and like apply it out here. I'm just going to apply a tiny bit on like the outer third just to kind of tie in the look but I don't really want that much eyeshadow on my lower lashes. For my inner corner, I'm just going to use the white, it is called Bump. I kind of like a matte highlight with a really shimmery look. I think actually I want to skip the lashes for this look because I want to try to keep it as natural, even though I just put like red and orange on my eyes. Um, but I'm just going to use a bunch of my Elizabeth Arden Grand Entrance Mascara. I'm also gonna apply a tiny bit of MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash to my lower lashes. Um, to brighten my eyes a tiny bit more, I'm gonna use um, MAC Chromographic Pencil in NC15 NW20. For my lips, I'm gonna apply a tiny bit of Spice Lip Liner. This is a quite brown color and it's a bit too dark. Or not too dark but it's a bit darker than my natural lips so I'm just gonna like contour my lips a tiny bit with this and then apply a lip gloss because I want my lips quite natural and for lip gloss I'm gonna use the Clarence uh, instant light natural lip perfector oh my god that name is so long I always forget it I love these gloss glosses I have almost every color I have these like travel size ones. I got a whole kit or a pack of them um, and I have a few of the big sizes but I just love them. They Before I like take my hair down and stuff I'm just gonna spray a tiny bit or a lot of Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. So this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. I love just like sitting down and play with my makeup so that is usually what I film. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Please just fill my comments with uh, advice, uh, products, um, happy thoughts. I don't know. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and until next time, please take care. Bye!